Hello everyone, my name is Vic of EU Market Biz, and in this video, I am going to share with you the updates on preferredcurrency.news. So, without further ado, let's um, begin. Okay, so this is um, the website where you subscribe at preferredcurrency.news. So, where you subscribe for $15 a month or $180 a year. You can use cryptocurrencies or fiat as payment on the subscription by clicking Coinbase for crypto and PayPal for fiat. Okay, so let's go to the um, newsletter. So this was the newsletter that the uh, subscribers received some hours ago. So top. Okay, so let's open um, first the news articles uh, to save us time okay so the top um, headlines for today's crypto exchange kucoin raises 20 million from idg matrix new global okay so let's read the news so let's close this one first so this news was is brought to you by preferred currency news and coindesk so Singapore-based crypto exchange KuCoin has raised $20 million in Series A funding backed by IDG Global, or Capital rather, Matrix Partners and Neo Global Capital. KuCoin announced the funding Wednesday, saying that the three firms had not only invested but formed partnerships with the exchange in order to bring cryptocurrency to the masses. With the funding in place, KuCoin said it now plans to revamp the service launching platform 2.0, probably in quarter 1, 2019, planned to be more than a single exchange. The new offering, it says, will be a dynamic, secure, and malleable trading platform that will allow KuCoin to scale and add new features. It will also bring on more support staff and expanding to new countries, targeting Vietnam, Turkey, Italy, Russia, and all Spanish-speaking countries during quarter 4, 2018. So with IDG, Matrix, and EO Global's assistance, the exchange said it aims to become a global brand in the blockchain industry, claiming 5 million registered users currently. I believe one day, everything will function with blockchain technology and with our newly formed partnerships, we will build on today's momentum and fulfill this mission. Kukoi CEO Michael Gann said. So this is very good news um, for us crypto holders. Kucoin raises, especially if you're trading in Kucoin, twenty million dollars from IDG Matrix and New Global. Okay. So the next one is Kick Select Stellar over Ethereum for token launch, right? So let's. Uh, read this article also. So, market mess app maker Kick, a messenger app maker Kick, is quitting Ethereum for good as it continues to develop its cryptocurrency dubbed Kin. Launched on Ethereum early in the ICO boom, Kick has now announced that it'll close Kin's atomic swap with Ethereum. Without specifying a date, the Kin Ecosystem Foundation said Wednesday that it would soon release a tool for Kin holdings off of. Ethereum. Kick's token has had several homes in its short life. The company raised just shy of $100 million in crypto during a September 2017 ICO. By November, Ethereum's scaling issues resulted in talk that Kin could find its way onto an alternative blockchain, something that Kick founder and CEO Ted Livingston later confirmed that December. By March, Kick had developed a two-chain strategy slated for Stellar, slated for Stellar with Ethereum for security and Stellar for speed. The plan was the users could switch back and forth. Then in May, Kick determined that even Stellar's extremely low transaction fees were too much at scale, so it decided to fork Stellar so it could eliminate transaction costs entirely. 
Kicks Oribad recently gave a talk on advantages to Kin with, that, with pursuing a federated consensus model. Now, Kick is breaking away from Ethereum entirely, reiterating his goal to make an to make Kane the most used cryptocurrency in the world, Livingston said in the release. One kin and one blockchain, that's our vision and our strategy, continues evolving as we work toward building an infrastructure that supports this. Clone the Coop Kick isn't the first company to start building on Ethereum, only shift, to, only shift away to alternative platforms. Indeed, Ethereum has served as an incubation hub of sorts for a number of tokens later, that later broke away. For example, EOS and Tron both migrated their tokens off the original blockchain that made their fundraising possible. Okay, so. For the Ken Foundation, the network's limitations hit home especially hard when some of its early network testing in December became impossible due to the growing activity around the CryptoKitties app. The matter has since become more urgent as the team rolls out new mobile products designed to give users ways to both earn and spend kin. The spokesperson for the Kin Foundation explained that it has been making arrangements with the exchanges, ensuring that as users move their tokens onto exchanges, they will make a one-way move on, onto the Kin blockchain, burning the original ERC-20 token in the process. There is no deadline for users to make the move, however, the spokesperson said that existing users can sit on their tokens on Ethereum as long as they like. Okay, so that's the second headlines for today. The third is this one. Coindesk launches the Crypto Economic Explorer, a new way to visualize crypto. So let's read this also. Okay, so let's open this one first. How do you measure a crypto asset? For years, the easy answer has been to look at its price. When we launched the Coindesk Bitcoin Price Index or BPI, the world's first index for Bitcoin in September 2013, we were at the forefront of creating an average price using multiple exchanges. The goal was to create a reference rate for a new form of asset, one that would help it be better understood in its way to greater adoption. Since then, the BPA has established itself as a gold standard for journalists, our own and others, researchers and investors, while Bitcoin, the world's oldest and most valuable crypto asset, has birthed a new economy. But the market for crypto assets has expanded dramatically, and it is no secret that growth has outspaced understanding of what remains a novel technology phenomenon. As the market has grown in complexity, there has been no shortage of data providers rushing to market. But how sound were their insights? Often excluded in available tools are many of the essential, ele essential elements that we know have propelled the growth of crypto assets. The developer interest, social activity, even the use of crypto assets blockchain. At Coindesk, they believe we've created um, we believe we've created a more comprehensive way to view cryptocurrency market data. A one-of-a-kind product that, for the first time, lets anyone visualize a complete picture of a crypto asset market. Rather than price alone, our tool relies on the full range of data now being assessed in the field of crypto economics. Where that while uh, perhaps unfamiliar has come to describe the study of crypto asset economies, since its advent, the discipline has been developed and refined by industry leaders. Now, for the first time, we're putting three these factors at your fingertips for your explanation, exploration rather. A measuring tool. The Coindesk Crypto Economic Explorer is a tool designed to offer a more complete picture of the economic activity for crypto assets. With our new data insight product, you can explore the extent to which exchanges are supporting their economics and if developers are actively working to improve their core code. The result of our work is a suite of 28 factors related to price exchange, network effect, 
developer base and social data that allows you to measure crypto assets against each other and against Bitcoin. To normalize our data, we created the Bitcoin benchmark, Bitcoin benchmark rather, which makes it easier to compare Bitcoin and other crypto assets. You can read the full breakdown of the Crypto Economics Explorer here. The benchmark is a proprietary volume weighted price index that draws from market price across 16 different exchanges. We take these prices as well as the market cap and compress the information into a single data point. This takes the form of a percentage that can be used to compare the price activity of any asset relative to Bitcoin. So beyond prices. But as we've said, looking at the price is, is just one way to measure a network's health. One that doesn't exactly indicate if a crypto asset is actually being used. Our exchange ben benchmark looks to expand on what is currently tracked by including factors such as total value transacted at crypto exchanges and a trading volume. However, we ask a variety of other questions. How many exchanges list the crypto, uh, uh, list the crypto asset? How many trading pairs does the asset have across exchanges? And what volume of fiat currency is it exchanged for? A good indicator of the amount of liquidity moving in and out of crypto exchanges. Our network benchmark looks at data points specific to the blockchain in question like the number of on-chain transactions, mining profitability, and how many nodes are running in the software. The combination of these data points can show, show us how the network attra attracts miners, merchants, and other key economic actors. The developer benchmark looks to measure how active the developer base of an asset is. Answering questions such as how many developers are working on the protocol, how, many, how much code is being proposed, tested, and committed on GitHub. So our social, media, um, social benchmark demonstrates a unique phenomena in crypto that discussion, debate, and even governance predominantly take place on social networks. This data point measures how many followers and subscribers project has across several, several platforms and seek to indicate how much interest there is in the network. These five scores when combined by the first crypto economic explorer rankings benchmark to Bitcoin. Okay. To be clear, an asset can have benchmark scores that are higher than Bitcoin's and we fully expect to see this as we observe their growth and development in the years to come. So getting involved. What you're seeing today is just the first version of what we hope will become the industry standard for visualizing the health and growth of the world's major crypto assets. Already we're developing new ways to examine and explore the vast amount of data produced by cryptocurrency networks. And we'll be shipping those features as part of our broader development developmental roadmap for the crypto economic explorer simply put the tool you see today will change evolve and grow along with the ecosystem itself and we're hoping that you our users can be part of that process if you work with a project that is not represented in the crypto economic explorer and want to see your data presented we're excited to work with you to collect this data and add it to the crypto economic explorer so this is uh, the third uh, headlines for today. So these are the three main stories or the three main updates on the news regarding cryptocurrencies. All right, so let's scroll down to see the Donald the Guru's research list. So these are the top coins for today. So ZRX, um, Cardano, Ethereum, Komodo, Litecoin, Bitcoin, EU Stellar, Dabcoin, and BitPay. Okay, so once you click um, open spreadsheet you will be redirected to this spreadsheet so this spreadsheet is now the guru's research list so the ones colored in blue are the ones that are showing the best news as stated on the um, title so red have negative news uh, orange are neutral yellow are fair green have good news blue are showing the best news so as you can see our the one the blue are stated uh, are showing the best news 
Okay, so uh, the right side of that are uh, technical analysis. So this is a useful, uh, this are useful information on your daily cryptocurrency um, trading uh, activities, especially uh, uh, the these ones, right? So the green ones, okay. And also this one. So. If I were you, I would check uh, preferredcurrency.news. Okay, so where, where, where was that? Okay, here it is. To subscribe for $15 a month or $180 a year. So, so this is just $15 a month, guys, to receive this very informative and very knowledgeable newsletter. Along with it is this spreadsheet. So this spreadsheet is very uh, important. Okay, so you can edit the spreadsheet by following the instructions here since the spreadsheet is just a view only um, spreadsheet. Okay, so those are the main updates of the newsletter today. So there are also other links here. And if you want to view that, you can view that by subscribing at preferredcurrency.news for $15 a month or $180 a year, right? So guys, before I go, I just want to say that I am not a financial advisor and everything I say here is not a recommendation for you to buy and sell crypto. So you must always do your own research before deciding for yourself, okay? So guys, this has been Vic. Um, see you on the next video. Uh, thank you. Bye-bye.